एडमिंटन में पीछे मिस नोबल पेजेंट हुआ और आरती वर्मा कवात्रा जो कि कैनकॉम डेवलपमेंट की तरफ से थी वो मेन ऑर्गेनाइजर थी और उन्होंने एक ऐसा कॉज पकड़ा ताकि गिव बैक जो सोसाइटी को हो सके एडमिंटन डाउन सिंड्रम सोसाइटी को उन्होंने फाइनली पैसे डोनेट किए हैं और ये जो पेजेंट था इसमें बढ़ चढ़ के लोगों ने हिस्सा लिया हमारी लड़कियों ने हिस्सा लिया और आज हमारी खुशकस्मती है कि एन मैरी विक्स जो कि मिस नोवल डिक्लेयर हुई हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में है आज उनके एक्सपीरियंस हम अपने जो लोग हैं सारे देख रहे कनाडा में उनसे शेयर करेंगे एनमरी वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू सो मच आई एम सो डिलाइटेड दैट यू आर विद अस ऑन द शो एंड अगेन कंग्रेचुलेशन टू यू ऑन विनिंग दिस मिस पेजेंट मिस नोबल पेजेंट व्हाट मेक्स यू मिस नोबल I think what made me miss Noble was um all the volunteer work that I've done in my community um giving back and I think just overall being a kind person. Are you sure kind? I think I'm a kind person. I hope so. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Um I'm a nurse, a licensed practical nurse. Um I work in Leduc and I also work at a clinic in South Edmonton. Mm -hmm. But these two are different things. You are a registered nurse then you are also into modeling. Yeah. What brought you into modeling? Um I just I think modeling is kind of like an art uh taking photos and photography so I kind of put both of them together and I had people tell me I was photogenic so I started taking some pictures and I got signed on with a modeling agency that's that's cool to know but you know most of our children and most of our girls they are not attracted to modeling why I think a lot of them aren't attracted to modeling it's just because also too like i think social media portrays it in a negative way um and i'm trying to portray it in a way that we encourage people to embrace their flaws and yes i might not be a, a size 0 but just encouraging who you are as a person and um yeah being pretty with who you are and being happy with who you are as a person you are born and raised in canada today canada youth is attracted to drugs and uh, alcohol as well so what is the cause youth being addicted to um drugs and alcohol i think for them i think um for teens today it's being heavily involved in social media and having negative influences mm -hmm. and uh, do you feel this dating which is prevalent now it has also side effect for getting kids into drugs and alcohol i believe so it can uh i think again like being involved in social media and not having a good influence can affect that and have those negative contributions to that as well. So as as a parent what is your message to them how they can control this menace? As a parent I know I'm not a parent right now but I really feel like getting your children or teenagers involved in some extracurricular activities whether it be volunteering in your community or being involved in sports or um going to a homeless shelter and helping people out I feel like that's a good way of getting your children involved in something positive. I have visited your Facebook page and I see you have been you have seen so many roller coaster days in your life and you're also donating blood since 2007 yeah so how you came out of that such uh, difficult times um it's very hard to be down and to stay down but at the end of the day you got to look at the end of the tunnel and see the, see the bright light and that's what I did I kind of picked myself up after I got knocked down and I said you know what I'm going to fight and I decided to turn my life into a positive and give back to my community and that was my way of healing and and moving on as a person. So uh, since 2007 you are donating blood yes. and are you also ambassador for people to donate blood and okay. Yeah, so um with Canadian Blood Services right now I'm actually um in touch with them and with their marketing company or marketing department um and trying to get individuals to donate blood. Um there's 30 permanent clinics in Canada and they have 14,000 clinics that are run every year. Um like if I can encourage you to do it please um as a nurse we see the need in the hospital for blood um and even signing your organ and tissue donation cards would be greatly appreciated. And the clinic here in Edmonton is at the Stollery, so downtown Edmonton. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And are you involved into other charities also? I did a lot of volunteer work too with um Big Brother Big Sisters of Canada. Mm -hmm. So, I've been doing like I haven't been doing that since 2013, but that was something that I did since 2005 to 2013 as well. Mm -hmm. If somebody says and is a good combination of beauty and brain, how would you react? 
110%. I'm a bit of both. I, I like to think I'm a smart girl. Um, I have a good smile. I like to smile. And yeah, I think both of those kind of help. <laughs> And uh, these young girls who wants to be into modeling or want to get involved in pageant shows, what is your guideline? My guideline is, it's not about just being pretty, it's about who you are as a person as a whole. Make sure you're volunteering and giving back to your community. Um, have a heart and know that it's, it's not just a beauty pageant, it's about what's inside. And uh, how you keep yourself fit? I work out every day. <laughs> I go to the gym every day and do weight training, so that helps me. Okay. So, uh, you know what? Uh, all over Canada, our people are scattered and they are watching you today. What is your message for them? For them, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching me and for watching Mr. Sharma here. Like, I'm so thankful and I'm still in shock, so thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Anne. Thank you.